In honor of Black History Month, we like to shine a spotlight on some LGBT African American heroes you need to know, starting with Alvin Ailey. Rejecting the modern dance establishment dominated by the likes of Martha Graham and Doris Humphrey, Ailey founded his eponymous Alvin Ailey Dance Theater with a focus on eclecticism. While Alvin's contemporaries emphasized their particular style, this groundbreaking choreographer adapted according to individual dancers and productions, blending multiple dance forms. This eclectic attitude was also prevalent in the multiracial composition of Alvin's company, casting according to talent, not color. Sylvester Originating from San Francisco's psychedelic gender-bending musical group, The Cockettes, Sylvester quickly evolved into a solo singer and pioneer of disco with hits such as You Make Me Feel Mighty Real. This queen of disco was a man ahead of his time, but not always in a good way. Sylvester passed away in 1988, one of the earliest casualties of the AIDS epidemic. Fortunately, this disco majesty is immortalized by his unforgettable stage presence and courage. Wanda Sykes. The Tart Tongue Sykes has performed many roles over the years. Stand-up comic, Emmy Award-winning writer, film and television actress, but in 2008, the homophobic Prop 8 movement inspired the comedian to take on a new role, LGBT rights activist. Notably, in 2009, Sykes became both the first African-American woman and openly gay person to headline the White House Correspondents' Dinner. I gotta say this about President Bush, man, he he knows how to leave town, right? I mean, we haven't heard anything from him. He's just quiet. He left like that house guest who breaks something in your house and heard him get out of there before you find out. Laverne Cox. In 2013, Cox became a trailblazer for the trans community when she debuted as Sophia Bursette, an openly trans inmate in the hit series Orange is the New Black. In contrast to other depictions of trans protagonists, such as Jeffrey Tambor on Transparent, Sophia was a trans character portrayed by an actual trans actress. I don't do pity. Honey, those roots are saying otherwise. Cox continues to break new ground, most notably in 2015 when Laverne Cox Presents the T-Word was the first trans documentary to win a Daytime Emmy, as well as making Cox herself the first openly trans woman to win a Daytime Emmy as an executive producer. Obviously, these are just a handful of the many openly LGBT African Americans who have made this country a better place in which to live. And it's important to point out that they made it better not only for the LGBT and African American communities, but for everyone, no matter their race or orientation. And when it comes to issues like race and orientation, the Academy Awards tend to be a cisgender straight white boys club. So it was great to see Mudbound's Rachel Morrison become the first female cinematographer to ever be nominated for an Oscar. Still, the Academy has much progress to make as it continued to snub many other wonderful women, most notably Wonder Woman.